Strategy is not that. But there are some huge misconceptions about what strategy is and what it isn't, and you as the team leader should know what's the difference. Hi, I'm Ivona Wilson from Wilson Biz Consulting, and we specialize in helping leaders build powerful strategies that actually work. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the three common myths about strategies. Myth number one, strategic planning is an exclusive one-off event for the few by the few. Mm -mm. In the past, many people believed that strategic planning is something that we should do at the start of the year, in the boardroom, or we go away for a retreat. Not long ago, I was blamed for doing just that, taking my clients' teams for a few days away, and you know, those events were always very well catered with lots of drinks and team building activities. Look, I think some of you might know what I'm talking about. It wasn't all that bad, but the problem was that for too many people, strategic planning was only about going away to some cool places. The challenge with that approach is that the strategy is treated as an event which dies even before the execution starts. So strategy is not an event. It's a process whereby the thinkers and the doers can reconnect with one another at any time and at any place. The second misconception about the strategy is that strategy being a top-down or bottom-up approach. And we all know that there were some serious issues caused by that approach. In the process of developing strategies, you need to involve as many people as possible. Having everyone participating in a strategic planning process fosters engagement, creates opportunities for discussion on the direction of the organization, which is why strategic planning often results in cultural transformation. So strategy needs to be owned by everyone and the push needs to be from the top, from the bottom and across every function. And you do it by cascading down the strategy to every function and every team. The third misconception might really surprise you as it did surprise me at the start. Myth number three is that strategic planning is about creating strategies. Hold on. How is that being a myth? Isn't strategic planning about finding the right strategies? Look, so many times when working with my clients, I find that people just want to jump into fixing and solving problems. It's natural. It's the way humans think. There isn't anything wrong with this. And the same happens when teams are doing their strategic planning for the first time. However, you need to remember this. Strategies reveal themselves easily once people feel comfortable about the environment they're in. They are free to speak up, they feel heard, and they, be, and they are being genuinely involved in the process. There are two things that we often forget. Most CEOs and leaders know the organizational strategic directions and they even know the tactics required that need to be executed. Unfortunately, if the strategy isn't on a paper, or if only a small handful of people know the priorities articulated by those strategies, the likelihood that the strategy is executed effectively is greatly diminished. The second thing is that you need to remember is to build, is that to build powerful strategies, you need to understand not just the vision, but the context. And you need to take your teams through the process of discovering the context. When you fully understand the context, when you create a safe and open environment for conversations that matter, strategies reveal themselves easily. There is energy, trust, engagement, clarity on scope, roles, responsibilities, priorities, and action plan. So in a recap, there are some serious misconceptions about strategies, and you as a team leader need to know the difference. So strategy is not a one-off event, is not a top-down approach, and it's not just about creating strategies. And you might want to watch that video again to get this into your head. And don't forget to leave your comment below.